Good morning, Aries. <clears throat> this is your extra reading. It is very early, you guys, and I am having my coffee with you, okay? Um, let's go ahead and see what's going on for my Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, okay? Let's see, Aries, if you're new, welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, guys. Let's see what your relationship was like in the past. What kind of relationship did Aries have? You had one where you felt like it was very successful. Um, it was it was successful and it was going places. I think somebody here was kind of paranoid maybe about some things that happened in the past and um, they probably sabotaged it. But it was definitely going places. It was um, it was a passionate it was a passionate relationship for sure with these ones being present. Um, but I think you guys struggled a lot. You struggled a lot, and it seems like one of you um, was wanting better, probably because of the struggle. Let me see if I can move this camera back a little bit here. Give it a little more room for my Aries. Let's see. There we go. Okay, move that over some because I'm going to need some more room here. Um, but yeah, it, it was a good one. It, it was one where you guys probably look good together and um, people thought you look good together. You probably, probably vibe together. Um, very passionate. Probably was very sexual. Okay, but um, somebody was struggling here. Somebody was a little bit paranoid, maybe about what the other one was doing, thinking they were cheating or whatever, and um, or talking to other people, something like that. Okay, let's see how my Aries viewed the relationship. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so maybe you guys felt like the other person was doing some things that they uh, should have been doing that they weren't focused on you like you weren't their main priority here okay let's see how they view the relationship your ex a lot of disappointment a lot of heartache um i get the feeling that this person feels kind of betrayed mm -hmm. they maybe thought you were doing something so, you know, it seems like you guys are kind of sharing this, this energy of, you know, not really trusting each other for real. Let's see what you guys' current situation is right now. Yeah, here we go with the Nine of Wands again. Um, I think you guys felt like this person probably was, um, probably was doing things that they did not have any business doing. Um, constantly feeling like they were looking for something better than you because this is also like the grass being greener on the other side so I think you know there's something about this person that did not sit well with you guys here <clears throat> yeah and you're trying to get over that you're trying to get over that and move on past whatever issues you had with this person um, and I think you just want to move on you really just want to move on here. Let's see what their situation is. Very defensive. You guys are coming with the same type of energy. They are defending why they're hurt currently. And I feel like you guys are just, you know, looking at them and going, why are you, why are you offended? What did I do to you? But you know what? Never mind. Because I'm going to pick it up and keep moving. But they are very defensive. Um, I think maybe they are defending themselves probably against other people too. Who are like, why aren't you with Aries? <laughs> Aries is wonderful. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys. So let's see what your, um, what your perception of your ex is. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. That they're waiting on you. I think that you feel like they're not doing anything. Um, they're sitting there counting their coins. They're worried about their money. Everything else, I feel. Like they're just not doing anything at all. And it doesn't look like they are. 
I don't think they're doing anything like with anybody. I don't think they have anybody. I think most of their focus is still on you, to be quite honest, okay? Let's see what their perception of you is. Mm. They want to speak with you. They want to start over with you. Hmm. They feel like you are involved with somebody. That you're in a brand new relationship. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Let's see. What are your feelings about getting back together? I think you guys are just basically wanting to move on. You're, you've put something out there. I think maybe a lot of you have started focusing on your business as well, your money. And, you know, you're just wanting to go into a brand new cycle without the drama. You're on to bigger and better things here. Is what I'm getting. Let's see what are their feelings about getting back together. They want to. I, I knew it was coming. They want to. They want to. This person on this chariot is looking right at this Ace of Wands. They want another go with you. They want another chance with you, my Aries friends. Let's see how you guys can help this relationship along. How can you help? <laughs> what this Hierophant is doing is standing his ground, knowing his worth, and facing forward. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. If they want you, they'll come get you. You don't do anything. At all. At all. I'm moving these cards over some, guys. Because i got more cards to bring here. I wonder why. Let me see. This is awful. I'm going to stop this real quick. And yeah, so <clears throat> what you could do is absolutely nothing. Keep doing what you're doing. Stand your ground. Because I feel like what you are doing is exactly the right thing to do. Because I get the impression that, you know, you guys have tried everything that you could here in the past. And, um, and I feel like, you know, there's nothing left for you to do. I think it's all, all on the other person here. And then as I'm looking at the computer screen, I see the Nonosaurus here. Um, somebody is very, very worried here. And I think it is your ex. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, but they're feeling very like broken hearted. Um, but I get that both of you experience some heartache in this relationship. Let's see. <clears throat> what your ex's feelings are about or how can they help this relationship alone I'm sorry <laughs> you know I think that this person really needs to look inside of themselves for the answer um, because I feel like they're holding on to, to some things that may not be as um, bad as they are portraying them. As we saw the Nine of Swords under the bottom of the deck. Um, and I think they're like projecting something onto you, actually. Um, so this is, a, this is a need for them to look at themselves. Like... To reevaluate maybe behaviors, maybe thought patterns, um, the way they speak, you know, those things to see, like, you know, what they have really done. Because I don't think they're they're holding, you know, themselves accountable for what they have contributed to the to the breakup. Let's see. <clears throat> what is the potential outcome here? Hmm. This is you and this is them. I think you are looking right at the Three of Wands. You're waiting on something better. Um, you want what you deserve here. 
with the Hierophant. And I feel that... I feel that they will come for you. Honestly and truly, I feel like they will. But right now, I think this person is in this very stuck state. And I don't think that they may be going through a process where they're just trying to... Um, like reevaluate everything that has happened and um, because I feel like they're really missing you guys here they're really missing you this hanged man is even looking at the queen of wands which is you okay it could also be um, another fire sign that is involved here um, maybe Leo Sagittarius cancer energy is here um, Taurus energy definitely any other fixed sign as well, um, Scorpio, Aquarius is here. Okay, guys? So that is what I have for you.